God bless you for making time to feed on the Word of God from this platform. I pray you'll be blessed by the Word of God today. Let's get into the Word from Pastor Kwame. Praise God. There is a song that says, Captain of Israel's host and guide of all who seek the land above. Beneath thy shadow we abide. Our strength, thy grace. Our rule, thy word. Our end, the glory of God. Amen. Our faith is not just a, a, a stigma of our imagination. Our faith is a, a, a tangible um a, a tangible rock on which we stand those who went ahead of us by the same faith they defile principles by the same faith they were able to shut their mouth of lions by the same faith they were able to secure themselves an inheritance that cannot be moved i want you to understand that you are not in this life by accident you are not in this life uh just 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 walking through and breathing uh god's air and and and, and just and just mind your own business you are born for a purpose and my desire is that one day at a time i begin to let you understand who you are in christ and why you were born for such a time like this your purpose is to influence yourself your family and your judea and your jerusalem and the outermost part of the earth you are not a mistake you are not an accident you are not just a mere person you are a royal priest with a holy nation a peculiar person call forth to show forth the glory of god father we thank you that you have called us into your family we receive this and we walk forward with it in jesus name i greet you on this morning on this afternoon on this evening in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ amen i'm fired up as you can see let me run to my assignment today amen jesus we love you jesus we love you i'm reading from the book of um numbers chapter 18 the division 20 c numbers 18 20 c praise god i'm going to take my time and deliver this the way i heard it now the bible says i the lord i am all you need i the lord am all you need amen i want to talk to you about relax because when god cooks there's always extra leftovers relax because when god cooks there's always extra leftovers Amen. 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 In this particular, uh, uh, today I want to begin to um, gradually explain to you what is happening here. If you exegete this test and you do your hymenitis properly, um, what you are looking at here is not, is, uh, so let me say this, I, I mean, up front. Th- this verse is for Christians only. This verse I'm reading is for Christians only. And I'm going to explain but the only thing the reason um this verse is for christians but everybody can enjoy is because when god cooks there's always extra plates left over uh, so wherever god is cooking even if you're not a christian you can eat because there will be extra baskets that after everybody has eaten there will be extra for everybody that's why uh, non-christians sometimes enjoy the goodness of god but, uh, but 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 when you look at who god is cooking for it is only for christians so i'm looking at a, a message if you you want to put it in today's term it is a test message from god to one particular man called aaron and god said to aaron in this particular verse it says that um all the 12 tribes of israel i have chosen you and your family and i have set you apart for myself and all the other tribes they have to get up on monday and go to work and i will bless them when they work so everybody who's not a child of god get blessed by what they do but every christian get blessed by who we are amen the people of the world they get blessed by what they do if they don't do they don't eat but we we don't have to do to eat we 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 leave to eat (laughs) what i'm saying is that it is our identity that feeds us not our physical ability Amen. And so, and so God t- tells Aaron, he says, now Aaron, I want you to know this, that all the tribes now, they have been given a piece of land to work on it and inherit the land. So I have tied their support to their strength 
and I will supply them strength. But as for you, Aaron, I will supply you food. Oh God, because I'm going to take your strength to build the. Te- I'm going to take your physical strength, Aaron, to f- to 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 work the temple, and then I, the Lord, I will feed you because you are Aaron. And I, when you begin to bring it to the, if you pass it through Christ and you bring it to the New Testament, you begin to understand that the royal priesthood, which is the church, now enjoy this ironic blessing that God becomes our portion. The song says, for the Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. So here I'm looking at a word for you and I want you to receive this word so that you will begin to embrace it with all your heart and all your strength and all your soul to understand really the dynamics and the metrics with which God works with you. So the Lord says, I, the Lord, I am all you need. So God is saying to the child of God today that in the midst of, in the midst of getting up and doing what you have to do, engaging the, the marketplace and, and educating yourself and all of that, you have to understand that there's a bigger policy that controls your life. That, you see, you see, I mean, let me give you a quick testimony. Um, when God takes care of you, Man cannot stop you from eating. I speak as a testimony that since I started my career as a chemist and also as a, as a teacher of the word, I have had different companies that I've worked for. And all the time, it looks like my, my companies get better the more I move from one company to another and anytime i'm moving from one company to another there is this sense of um this verse that i eat so so i never run out of food when i'm in between jobs i still eat because the lord is all i need i don't i don't need my job i need my god I don't need my job. I need my God. And so I came to let you understand that when God cooks, relax. If God is the one cooking, then relax because there will be extra leftovers, even for our enemies. There will be extra. So, so, so I don't know. I have not landed this, this thing yet, but let me land it this way. So I came to let you understand that as a Christian, God is the one that cooks for you. God is the one that feeds you. And it is only for Christians. But I'm saying that those other Christians can come because if God is the one that is cooking, then obviously there'll be leftovers. Are you hearing me? But I want you to embrace this verse so you understand it. That when every job lets you go, when every person, oh God help us, you will never go hungry. You will never go hungry because the Lord is your portion in the land of the living. God will take care of you. Literally. Literally. Literally, God will take care of you. So I want you to understand that and let it sink into your subconscious mind and and understand that God is all I need. And it's not for everybody. God is not all everybody needs. But as for you and I, God is all we need. He says, Aaron, you don't have a piece of land, but I am all you need. So I came to let you understand this today. That God is has made your food his responsibility. God has made your survival his responsibility. And 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 if you begin to accept what I'm saying, your supply will start coming. Because how can they know except they are preached to? How can they be preached to except they are sent? Now, I'm sent to announce to you that God is all you need. Everything else is a want. Everything else, your job is a want, your God is a need. Hallelujah. So, I want you to hear this clearly. God will take care of you. And I said it again. If God is the one cooking, then relax because there will be extra leftovers by the time you are done. Even after you are satisfied, there will be extra leftovers. 
so i want you to see the uniqueness i don't know if i delivered this the way i really felt i should but let me wrap it up this way i the lord am all you need aaron i am all you need i i i have made you exclusively an individual that i would take care of so notice it and understand it that i want you to jump out of the the bus you are in all of you are in the bus where uh god is there but i have to do this god is there you are in the different bus there are more than one bus in this station but i want you to come on the, the priesthood bus because you are a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar individual that your 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 bread come from god give us this day O elohim our daily bread that's what i'm saying so it's a reality i work i walk into this single ladies oh god help us i walked into this single ladies in my time of uh, pastoring in new york city we went to this house and the lady said pastor everything you see in this room was not bought by a man it was bought by god I want to show you that that God can buy you things. God can take care of you literally. But it has to come from those who have switched buses. And you have come to the, the, the embracement and the confession and, and the understanding and the faith that I am a royal priesthood. And therefore, under the ironic blessing, God is my portion in the land of the living. And you, you believe it and you expect it. And you know that that is your portion. Because when God cooks, there's always going to be extra leftovers. God will take care of you every blessed day. I want you to breathe it and breathe out and put your hand on your chest and say, God will take care of me. God will take care of me. And, 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 and let me make it a little difficult. God wanted Aaron to have only his word. He said, Aaron, you're not getting a piece of land. Aaron, you're not getting a job. Aaron, you're not getting anything. You just go to the church and stay there. Today, if you preach that message to the public, they will say, look at their foolishness. Instead of them to go out and get a job, they are in the church praying. But God spoke to Aaron privately. He said, Aaron, you're not getting a job. I will take care of you. And I want you to understand that. Understand that mystery. That God will take care of you. You get a job all you want. But that job is not taking care of you. God will take care of you. All other grounds is sinking sand. On Christ the solid rock that has made us priesthood. So I want you to understand this. Embrace it. Be comfortable with this word. That the Lord is all I need. He will take care of me like nobody's business. Father, I place your people under the soup kitchen of heaven. And I speak that they will from today eat from the corridors of heaven. And then an angel will send them help through any means necessary. Because I recruit them under the word that you are our portion in the land of the living. And if God is your portion then there is not going to be days of hunger. May your days of anger be over. May your days of lack be over. For the Jehovah God is your shepherd. May your days of lack be over. May your days of strandedness be over. May your days of calling human beings who don't pick up be over. May your days of struggling to find a job be over. May your days of trying to make it happen be over. May your days of little bit be over. May your days of extra basket begin to be activated now in jesus mighty name amen go in that understanding that god will take care of you it doesn't matter your bank account god will take care of you it's a promise you can take it to the bank on that god bless you